Every game of this tournament has gone to the waiting moments. We expect that again tonight. What a start to the day. We get our first look at the tournament at the Big Ten Player of the Year, Zach Eadie. The road to this game for Ohio State, not easy. Two wins to get here and earn this trip to the quarterfinal. Ohio State playing without their leading score. Freshman Bryce Sensabaugh out with a knee problem today. It's been a lot of madness in this tournament so far. And I think it's just a preview. Get ready for an insane march, and it's showing here at the Big Ten Tournament. Blue and half court offense. The winner looking to advance to the semifinals tomorrow. Inside of Eden, Eden will spin. He'll have it knocked away from him. He got it back, shoots it a second time, and scores. I just don't know how you guard it. It's almost impossible. Inside of Eden, he turns, he dunks, he's fired. <laughs> the Big Ten Player of the Year starting to eat in Chicago. It's been a long time since MSU's led this thing. The number 13 seed Buckeyes are having a great afternoon in Chicago. Thornton for the Buckeyes who lead at 22-17. Goes to Sue in the right corner. Drives the lane. Now bounces on the left block. Akbaro who dunks on the draw. Ohio State ahead in Michigan State. Buckeyes trying to break a two-game losing streak to the Spartans. Bullseye. So all of a sudden, the Buckeyes have caught fire. Hublo on the left layup, no good. Rebound, tracked down by Michigan State. Walker with it, out to Hogarth, who drives to the hoop from low on the right. Misses on a layup, and McNeil rebounds the miss. Up court gets it all the way to Thornton. Thornton will go to the hoop from low on the right, lay it in. And Ohio State has moved to the semifinals of the Big Ten Tournament as they knock off Michigan State. Purdue the lead. The winner advances to tomorrow's semifinal action. Rutgers needs to stop here, down by six. David Jenkins Jr., he'll lob it into Edie. Edie will spin, he'll shoot, he'll score. The Boilermakers victorious today over Rutgers, 70 to 65. And the Buckeyes are going to move on, the 13th seed in the tournament, and they're going to get to play the Purdue Boilermakers tomorrow. What a game. We've had six ties. We've had 10 lead changes. Penn State has led much of the second half. Right now, it's a two-point Northwestern lead with a minute to go. Lundy near the wing, eight to shoot. Lundy to the bucket, stumbles, keeps his feet, fires and got it. Penn State ties the game with 39.2 to go. 22 seconds left, 12 to shoot. Bowie backs up, six to shoot, charges down the lane, in the lane, right hand up, no, no rebound, fuck. 10 seconds to go. Penn State looks to win it. Winner into the front court. No timeout, just go. Winner drives, fuck, to his right, four for the win! Four! Rebound Barry from half court, good if it goes. Off the glass, no good. We're going to overtime. Oh my gosh. Indiana in control. Can they hang out here? Indiana going on offense. High screen from Jackson Davis. That's a tough shot in bounds, and Jackson Davis puts it back in and won. Well, they got it all going right now, and that is one guy taking over the game. Jackson Davis, his fingerprints are all over this game. It'll be Indiana's win here tonight. They will advance to the semifinal. And here we go, overtime. We're not going to win if we don't bound together. I'm just saying everybody. We're not going to win if we don't bound together. One minute to go. Lundy with 10 to shoot. Backs up. 50 seconds left. Six to shoot. Lundy crossover for three in the lead. And scored. He knocks it down again. Penn State in front. 64 62. 
six seconds. Bowie's got it. And he's fouled with 4.7 to go. Bowie at the line for two. I don't know if Boo Bowie could intentionally miss one. He did. It's loose. Adiz at the wire to win it. Missed it. Rebound batted out of bounds. And the Nittany Lions go to the semifinals. We never give up, man. Love this team. Guys, man, I've talked about even when we're not at our best, even when we're not at our best, man, we, we made plays down the stretch. You guys guarded, you made it tough, you rebounded, we scored timely buckets when we needed to. That's championship basketball, right? But that's what we've been playing, right? And we're not done. We're not done. Let's get rested. Let's go play tomorrow, man. Yes, sir. State and Purdue meeting in the Big Ten Tournament semifinals today here in Chicago. For Ohio State, they've already won three games in three days. This is four and four. They've got to win today and tomorrow to get back to the NCAA Tournament. United Center here in Chicago. Karate Gale fires a three. Gale up and in. Ohio State remains red hot from the three-point line here in the Big Ten Tournament. This Ohio State team is loving the United Center. Top to Keith Thornton, the right wing soon. Snaps off a three. Down the hole just as soon. The Buckeyes have found their shooting touch in the month of March. Smith Purdue dribbles to the right point, stops, gets it head of the key to Mason. Gillis sends in the lane, Heaney. Catches and dunks right at the rim, can't stop that. Just throw it inside to Zach. Hey, hey, Gabby doses of that. Stop it. It is. David Jenkins Jr., top of the key, three on the way. Triple time! David Jenkins Jr. Side, Newman. Newman from 18 feet straight away. Two more for Brandon Newman, and he screams to the sky in excitement. It just looks to me, and it's the first time I've noticed it today, that Ohio State is starting to really get winded, playing now their fourth game in four days. 13 minutes remaining. Down inside to Edie. He will catch it. He will dunk it. Well, that there, Rob, I think might be all she wrote. This exciting run for Ohio State in the Big Ten Tournament is going to come to an end here today.
spirit's different today. All right, we got a little more bounce to us. We got a little more juice to us. Sound like y'all ready to do something, right? So, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready too. Make it tough. Make it tough all night, okay? Let's go down and play offense. And the next possession will be better. Got to get in each other's vision. We're going to have catch and shoot opportunities. When we catch it, shoot with confidence, man. We're just going to play harder than everybody else. That's it. We do that, we'll go play again tomorrow. Wow. Penn State continues to dominate Indiana right now by 12, 28 to 16. Grace Thompson with an incredible throwdown. That gets the Hoosier crowd on its feet. And all of a sudden, Indiana changes things. Indiana has tied the game at 47 all. They have not let Indiana get the lead. And if you can get one run, you can put the fear of losing into the favorite team here. Fun 30 footer. It's good! From way downtown, from the Willis Tower. Well played by Jalen Pickett. Mitten lines by 15, 68, 53. Trace Jackson Davis, great move to slam it home. And all of a sudden, Indiana has a little bit of life left. Down low to Trace, and he slams it home. Unbelievable. Indiana's not only scored, but they have scored fast here over the last minute and a half. Well, give them credit. They battled back when it looked like it was a pretty bleak scenario for the Hoosier ball club. And now you got a one-possession ball game. And they threw it away. Picked up by Galloway. Plays it up and in. Seth Lundy being fouled by Race Thompson. He'll try to make it a three-point ball game with 17.7 seconds to go. Can you believe what we've seen here in the last two minutes? Indiana has no timeouts left here. Lundy's second shot is on its way. Got him both the fall. Indiana needs a three to tie. Here comes Shafino across the timeline. Jalen, right side on the perimeter. Looks, fires up a three. Rebound, Jalen Pickett, and Pickett gets it to winner. The Nittany Lions go to the Big Ten Championship game. One more win away. A lot more to give. A lot more fight. We made it a little close. But it's March, we don't want people, you know, we want to get that money's worth out there. <laughs> That's our color! Yeah! Obviously, it's bittersweet, but I know that I've left everything that I've had out there on the court, and I think Indiana fans and fans in general that enjoy college basketball will appreciate that. Um, but at the same time, you can't dwell on it too much because we still got some ball left to be played. Trace Jackson Davis is unbelievable, man. He's first team All-American, hands down, possibly player of the year. But I also said, we got All-American too. <laughs> Once we get back to the hotel, shower, then let's meet downstairs and let's prepare to try and win a championship. Tomorrow.
All season long, the stars of the Big Ten have shined. But this week in Chicago, the depth of the conference took center stage. Today, two teams still have championship dreams within their grasp. Championship Sunday in the Big Ten at the United Center in Chicago. Today it's the Nittany Lions of Penn State and the Boilermakers of Purdue. We root for Micah. He's meant a lot to our program in two different stints as an assistant. We're both competitors. I'll see him in the hallway and we'll joke and we'll laugh. Congrats. Thank you. And then we're tooth and nail, we're gonna fight each other. Stuff that we've talked about all year is now coming true. We got 40 more minutes of basketball. Everybody in college basketball is sore right now. Everybody in college basketball is tired. Everybody in college basketball is, is banged up and hurt. But you know what everybody else in college basketball is doing? sitting at home about to watch us play for a championship right now. Two teams will square off for the right to forever be known as a Big Ten champion. And the 2023 Big Ten Tournament Championship is underway. Blue with the ball. Smith, he's on the right side and dribbling. Gets underneath the basket, leaves it for E.D. He will dunk with two hands. Swinging it left side to Mason Gillis. He wants to dribble into the painted area and does. Shoots a wild one-handed shot and he made it. I'm not sure how. Gillis tried to throw it inside, had it batted back at him. Lawyer's gonna have to shoot. We're at two, we're at one, a three. Good! Fletcher Lawyer! Michael Shrewsbury just crosses his arms. He knows what more can you do. We gotta get back and get, get back in transition. They're pushing the ball. And they're out three balling Penn State again. It's happened in all three games. They've been outshot by Purdue from the arc, and there's no chance Penn State can win for that. Smith, foul line first, goes inside, E, up and good. Well, give Michael Shrewsbury credit. He's trying to do everything in his power to keep his team in a game. Let's make history move. We can be aggressive. We can be aggressive, right? Don't worry about the fouls. Keep playing. Keep competing, okay? Penn State's going to need a miracle here in the last six minutes to find a way home. Still a ton of time remaining. When you think about how well Penn State can shoot the ball, they can get on a heater. Top of the key, Lundy. His three on the way. It's gone. Showing sides of the way here. Pickett lays it up and in. Basket counts in a foul. Put it down to nine. Can they get it to six here? One to top of the key. 4 3. Yeah, it's good. He buries it. The Nittany Lions get within six. Penn State, all kinds of momentum here. Can they get the stop and a score? Full court pressure by Penn State and a foul. Let me just foul out. Boy, that is a tough sequence for Seth Lundy. Ooh, tough ball. Seth was great, Steve, just great, and it's going to be really hard now without him. I 
I can assure you the team wearing the blue jerseys will not quit. No. Still certainly a chance here. They're only down 66-60. Take it in traffic. Near wing three by Dredd. It's gone. They cut the lead in half. 66-63. Gilman, back court, steal by Mahaffey, and the late winner lays it up and in, it's down to one. So instead of risking throwing the ball inbounds, Micah Shrewsbury says, nope, we're going to foul right now and see if the freshman lawyer can make a couple of huge free throws. He made the first. Second one for lawyer is launched, and that one is no good. Rebound bump, off the picket, up the floor with three, timeout. Penn State has kept clawing, they have kept fighting, they have put themselves in a position to force overtime or win this game. They wait, they fire it far away, it goes to Dredd, back to winner, winner for three in the Big Ten Championship, no good! Going to travel. And they call the walk with point six to go. Oh, let's go! Let's go! And the Purdue Boilermakers are the Big Ten Tournament Champions. I'm as proud of you guys, win, lose, whatever. We emptied the tank and you almost came back and you almost pulled that off. That was just fight and that's who we are. There's a lot of season left for us, man. A lot of the season left for us. Outstanding player from Purdue.